I'm your healing host, L.D. Mario Sa. Welcome to Chamo Unplugged. May us chosen ones stay connected. I am your higher consciousness. I am your higher self. I am the healed version of you. Now today is just the intro episode to explain to you what is a cool weirdo. You know, we got the feather for the shamans. That's like some, this will be a beautiful introduction. A cool weirdo is nothing but a, it's just a cool nerd, man. Someone who will... Someone who will bust your ass in basketball and football, but will go home and study psychology and quantum physics. You know, go home and, and read a chapter of a book, but then probably hop on 2K after that. It's all about balance and equilibrium. A cool weirdo is a, a gangster and a gentleman, you know, an intelligent hoodlum. That's what I will refer to myself as, an intelligent hoodlum. You know, it, it's being from the trenches, right? But you can have a whole philosophical conversation with a pastor and a bishop, but you can hang with the gangsters. You can have conversations with the gangsters. You can be comfortable around the gangsters, but also you can have a philosophical conversation with the bishop. A cool weirdo is any black person who loves to do white people activities. And that's literally just doing things in nature, camping, hiking, kayaking, walking barefoot on the ground. The crazy thing is how much we've been programmed where in black culture, we see white kids running around with their shoes off. We looking at that crazy. But as I grow up and as a spiritual being, you know, I'm realizing this is grounding. This is earthing. We are electromagnetic beings. We getting charged up from the earth as our feet hit this surface. We connecting with Pachamama, with Mother Earth. We literally getting charged up as our feet touching the, uh, the earth. So as a black man, a black person coming from the city and doing these type of things, you see a black person out in nature with they feet out in nature. The average person gonna look at this boy is this boy is out his damn mind. This boy is out his damn mind. But I can come talk to you about whatever uh, I have knowledge of. Aretha Franklin, Luther Vandross. I could talk to you about that. I could talk to you about Luther Vandross, Aretha Franklin, Prince, all of that. But I can also talk to you about Tame Impala, Michael Cassidy, and so many alternative artists it's like in black culture hip-hop is everything right you can't tell your homies that you listen to alternative music without them judging you they're gonna look at you crazy first because they don't understand it being from the itty city it box it puts our mind in a box and it leaves you so one track minded it turns you into jake gyllenhaal it puts you in your own bubble your bubble boy and but i grab the pen and pop that bubble step outside that box being a cool weirdo is not being afraid to be who you really are. Being a cool weirdo is you grew up eating soul food, right? You grew up eating soul food. But as you grow up, you realize that's the worst food for your health. And as black culture, we clown white people for not putting certain condiments like salt, heavy salt and sugar in their food. But who has the highest rate of heart disease and dying from heart disease? african American. So you clowning them for not putting salt in their food and sugar and whatever to make it just taste better. They live longer. So a cool weirdo is literally coming from soul food or graduating to being a vegetarian and plant-based or vegan, whatever it is, and focusing on your health. Like, it's not cool to focus on death. You pouring, man, I remember growing up, I'm pouring a whole sugar packet in my Kool-Aid. Now, what? So I come from pouring sugar a whole, a half a, half a pack of sugar, half a big pack of sugar in my Kool-Aid. So now I'm starting my days with the smoothie every day. That's different types of sugar. You can't compare the fruit sugar <laughs> to the processed sugar. Please don't even start that conversation. So yeah, man, that, that's what being a cool weirdo is, is having knowledge of both sides of life. That's what it is. And the crazy thing about like making fun of white people for their bland food and not putting salt in it, when a black person dies from heart disease, the repass, after the funeral, the repass, you serving the same food that this person died, that made this person die. If that ain't being in the matrix and not understanding what's going on in life, I don't know what is. That's, that might be the most diabolical thing ever. You serving what killed this person. This fried food, soul food. You serving soul food killed that man. So it's time to survive the soul food and eat spiritual food because that soul food ain't even good for your soul. It deteriorates your soul. It gives you rhythm. It's a part of giving you rhythm in black culture, but nah. Being a cool weirdo is where 
the hood can accept you and white America can accept you. It's just called being diversified, being a multidimensional being. A cool weirdo is a person who can, who go hugs a tree at 7 a.m. while they taking a nature walk. And at 7 p.m., they can stop for five minutes and talk to their homies that hug the block. But as I say in my song, Cool Weirdo, the difference between hugging the block and hugging the trees, the block would take your life and the trees provide the oxygen that you breathe. Nature boy. A cool weirdo is being spiritual, but from the hood and still may slap somebody if you feel that you have to. Like for, and that reminds me of the incident um, with Nipsey where he slapped the, the dude from BET. Nipsey is a cool weirdo. This guy was intelligent, man. Love to read. But also, he from the 60s. This guy right here, Malcolm X, is a cool weirdo, a cool nerd. He grew up in the trenches in Boston, drug dealing, pimping, running numbers, all of that. But he went to jail and turned his whole life around. And he's an intelligent hoodlum. He's one of the smartest people that you will ever see. Tupac is a cool weirdo where he is with the shit. He will fight. And it's being a Gemini where it's about the balance. He will fight, he will shoot a police, but he will protest for injustice and he will write poetry. That's what a cool widow is. You will write poetry, but then the next day, you will shoot a police to defend this black man over here. Chombo, thank you. Welcome to Channel 555, Nonconformist News. I am L. I am here to expose lies. Now, today's biggest lie is. So this gentleman right here is talking all this nonsense. But the lie is that Christopher Columbus was the first European to discover the Americas. But he wasn't even the first European to step foot in the Americas continent. Norse explorer right here. The Vikings were actually the first Europeans to step foot in the Americas. A millennium before this guy. Everything is a lie. All lies. I am L. This is Non Performance News, Channel 555. Thank you, Chombo. Back to you. A cool weirdo is the person who go to a function, but all they can talk about is astrology. <laughs> you know? That's what a cool weirdo is. You're that person in the crew that talks about astrology all day. It talks about government tyranny. And then you, your friends probably get tired of you. And talk and of course talk behind your back. Like, man, this, this guy, this girl is crazy, man. But you see what they don't see. You feel what they don't feel. Because you're the cool weirdo. They love you, though. You can party and do whatever you want. If you're an extrovert, you will create time to go hang out with your friends. And let's say, yes, do some hood rat ratchet, hood ratchet with, with your friends. <laughs> you know? That's considered a being. That's a cool weirdo. Although I don't part I'm an introvert, so I don't partake in these, you know, activities. But I understand the life of a, a woke extrovert. I understand that. So, it, and it can be tough. It's way, it's much tougher for a woke extrovert. It's much tougher. And for me, as a loner, it's pretty, it's very easy because I, I hide away from the world. I detach myself from the world, from worldly activities. So I don't deal with the, the drama of humans because I'm detached from them and worldly activities. Being a cool weirdo is... You may listen to a, I don't know, Beyonce song, but after that, you're going to listen to an Aurora song. You know who Aurora is. Things like that. You can listen to James Brown, but you also can listen to John Lennon and the Beatles. So that's all. It's just expanding. It's expanding your consciousness. It's expanding your mind and just not being limited by your environment. That's what a cool weirdo is. Not letting your environment limit your consciousness. Just because your homies is thinking like this, don't mean I'm going to be stuck and not think past their consciousness. I'm not going to let my environment dictate my future. That's what a cool weirdo is. Like I say in a, I say in a song, Ward 5, baby, but touching five continents. I'm from Ward 5, D.C., but I touch five continents. I done been to 20 plus countries, 20 plus states. So cool weirdo. For a black person, a cool weirdo is a person who... Loves to watch, to watch Martin, but also loves to watch anime. Father, anime lover. Being a cool weirdo is is watching Martin in the daytime and then go watch Charmed or X-Files at nighttime. 
it's, it's balanced, man. But if you if you go and tell your homies, you can't tell your homies you watch Charmed. <laughs> like, nah, you can't. Like, what, what the hell is that? This is also what a cool weirdo is. And I can speak from personal ex experiences. A cool weirdo is this, the scene in Boys in the Hood. A cool weirdo is, is being smart at the end of the day. The scene in Boys in the Hood where Doughboy and them getting back revenge as them from killing Ricky, right? Moist Chestnut character and Doughboy, Ice Cube character, and the homies and Cuba Gooden Jr. character Trey, they all in the car going for get back. But Trey hops out. He like, I, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. That line been thrown around. You like Trey? You, you know, get out the car. Like you, you solve, but you ain't down. Just because this man ain't want to go murder people, because he ain't want to go murder people. He soft. But that's the life they in, right? It's so low vibration. And that's him being a cool weirdo. Where they looking at him like, dog, you with us, right? You with us, but you just got out because you ain't want to murder somebody. That's him being a cool weirdo. Because he's smart enough to be like, I don't want that on my conscience. I'm good. I go home and, and suffer and, and go cry to my girlfriend instead. I'd rather go cry to my girlfriend about my friend dying than go kill the people who just killed my friend. And my personal experience, this is when I know I had to leave people behind. Where for my uh, cousin's birthday, you know, I, I'll never drink and smoke and stuff like that. I was never a drinker or smoker in my life, right? And my people know that. My friends know that. But it was for my cousin's birthday. Like, we went out. We all met up. It was some bar. Like, I don't even, me, I don't even want to be in that environment, right? But for my cousin's birthday, we there. It's, like me, like three, like four of us. So one of my friends, he's like, here, dog. Like he's trying to give me alcohol and stuff like that. And I'm like, dog, no. <laughs> like, you know, I don't do that. Like, it's when people don't respect your boundaries and don't respect your lifestyle. When people, when your close friends and family don't respect your lifestyle, that's when you got to go. And me, I never peer pressure. I'm super strong. I never fold to peer pressure. That's never been me. I'm blessed with that gift. Thank you to the divine. Like for real, my willpower with that. So every time somebody offering, no, I'm good. And it was one time I was in a relationship. I was talking to someone, right? And my friends, they was going to the, we was leaving from somewhere and they was going to the strip club after. Like I already hung out with y'all, right? I already hung out, but it's time to go to the strip club now. But I got a girl. I'm not going, I don't care. I look at this, I don't, no. I'm good. And he like, he wanted, he was so disappointed. He was so disappointed. He was like, giant. like, you know, saying it jokingly, but disappointed. Like, cause I ain't go to the strip club with them. As I'm getting out the car, going in the house, they dropping me off. I'm like, nah, dog. Like I'm talking to something. I got a girl. No, like, no. So it's those moments where you, the cool weirdo was put in those situations would define how different that person is where I can hang with y'all in certain situations, but when it gets to things that get me out of my element and my character, I'm gone. And they gonna look at you as weird. Like what's wrong with him? What's wrong with her? Right? So that's the cool weirdo. That's deeper things of being a cool weirdo. When you saying no to shit that ain't to things that ain't good for your soul. So you gotta be strong. The black American mindset is just so limited where you make fun of positivity but at the end of the day it is a product of white supremacy they placed this is their structure as tupac say this is a white man's world this 3d world it is a white man's world they created the, the structures to how people live their day-to-day -day lives and they created the ghettos they created redlining with the suburbs right here in the ghetto right here they created these things through slavery having the slaves fight each other. And so now they have us going against each other, looking at each other as competition. It's like, if you're looking at a person, like what you looking at growing up, you ready to fight. When someone step on your shoes, you ready to punch them. It's like they placed us against each other. You know, the Willie Lynch letter, we're products of that. Light skin versus dark skin, tall versus short. All of that silly shit. Laughing at, even to the point where you laugh at someone who's less fortunate than you. If, someone, if this kid has dirty shoes and busted shoes, you laughing at him because you got on the Fresh Jays that came out this Saturday. But if you go to the suburbs and see these white kids, you see their shoes, they force is dirty as hell. 
It's crazy. So it's like we care. We've been programmed to care about the wrong stuff. Stuff that just do not matter. They do not matter at all. Now, I ain't advocating for dirty shoes, but you get the point. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. So um, we just care about the wrong stuff. And we just have to deprogram our minds to reprogram them. Because we've all been set up. We are all victims of society. At the end of the day, we are all victims of society and victims of white supremacy and their infrastructures. And as victims of white supremacy, you ain't a cool weirdo because you're so boxed in to what you only know. Being a cool weirdo is being from the block, hanging on the block, but you grew up and realized that the world is bigger than your neighborhood. So you travel the world. You focus on traveling now. You seeing different cultures. You respecting different cultures. You just don't look at American football as the grand century of sports. You respect soccer, the real football. They use their foot more. <laughs> like, it's just understanding things, man. It's just not being one track minded and disrespectful to the world's cultures. It's crazy. Like, you making fun of less fortunate, but that's like, I, everything is a product of white supremacy, where in that case, making fun of this kid with busted shoes and you have fly the newest pair of shoes on, that is a flex because you're showing some sort of wealth in a poor environment. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's, a, it's a trauma response. And that trauma response is stunting on someone. That's a trauma response. Stunting is a trauma response being from poverty. So you feel you have to, you know, do more. You feel you have to show it off and flaunt it. You feel you have to flaunt it. So if this sounds like you, this show is for you. Be prepared for some deep conversations, for some interesting topics. That will blow your mind. But this show right here is for the cool weirdos. And feel free. This is a safe haven for you. This is a safe haven for the cool weirdos. So in the comments, let me know what's up. Let me know where you're from. Let me know your stories of how you are a cool weirdo. What makes you a cool weirdo? What is your equilibrium? What is your balance? What makes you cool? And what makes you a nerd? Based on society eyes. Because being woke is not cool. Because you have to dumb yourself down in society when you out in public being woke is stressful when it comes to being out when dealing with other people because the 85 percenters don't understand a damn thing because they're indoctrinated and being a part of the five percenters who see what's going what's really going on it ain't cool it can be stressful being woke so this is for the gangsters and gentlemen the intelligent hoodlums the cool weirdos man. Look at me strange because I'm different. I look at them strange because they're all the same. I'm ordinary. Uh, baby, you're fucking with a genius. So it's hard to understand me. But that's okay.